the best female villains in film and TV, from devious to delightful. Hey Science Deli viewers! Welcome back to another episode where we explore the captivating world of cinema and TV. Today, we are diving into the realm of female villains. These characters bring depth, style, and complexity to their roles, often leaving us both fascinated and horrified. Let us start with some classic female villains who have left an indelible mark on the screen. Agatha Trunchbull, Matilda, 1996. Portrayed by Pam Ferris, Agatha Trunchbull is the brutal, fear-inducing headmistress from Roald Dahl's novel. She is the epitome of a bully, making her one of the most memorable villains in children's cinema. Meredith Blake, The Parent Trap, 1998. Elaine Hendricks's portrayal of the gold-digging, evil stepmom to be in The Parent Trap remake made her an essential part of the film's success. Her pristine outfits and cunning personality made her a standout villain. Xenia Onatop, Goldeneye, 1995. Famke Janssen's Xenia Onatop is a memorable James Bond femme fatale known for her unique ability to crush adversaries between her thighs. With a name as iconic as her deadly skills, she's a Bond villain to remember. Madison Lee, Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle, 2003. Demi Moore's Madison Lee is a former Charlie's Angel turned villain. Her seductive, lethal persona, complete with firing a gold gun in lingerie and a fur coat, made her a scene stealer. Amy Dunn, Gone Girl, 2014. Rosamund Pike's Amy Dunn in Gone Girl is an icy mastermind. Her ability to oscillate between a victim and a villain keeps the audience on their toes, making her a complex and captivating character. May Day, A View to a Kill, 1985. Grace Jones' portrayal of May Day, the fierce henchwoman in the James Bond film, A View to a Kill, is unforgettable. Her powerful presence and unique style made her a standout character. The Sanderson Sisters, Hocus Pocus, 1993. Sarah Jessica Parker, Bette Midler, and Kathy Najimy brought to life the three bickering witches Winifred, Sarah, and Mary Sanderson. Their comedic yet sinister antics have made Hocus Pocus a Halloween classic. Joan Crawford, Mommy Dearest, 1981. Faye Dunaway's chilling portrayal of Joan Crawford in Mommy Dearest, based on the memoir by Crawford's adoptive daughter, Christina, offers a terrifying glimpse into the life of the abusive Hollywood star. Aunt Lydia, The Handmaid's Tale. Anne Dowd's Aunt Lydia in The Handmaid's Tale is a strict, brutal enforcer of the dystopian regime. Her ability to switch between seemingly kind and ruthlessly oppressive makes her a complex and fearsome character. The White Witch, The Chronicles of Narnia. Tilda Swinton's portrayal of the cold-hearted White Witch in The Chronicles of Narnia is both mesmerizing and terrifying. She brought a chilling elegance to the character, making Turkish delight synonymous with deceit. Alex Forrest, Fatal Attraction, 1987. Glenn Close's Alex Forrest in Fatal Attraction remains a cautionary tale about the dangers of extramarital affairs. Her intense performance brought the term bunny boiler into the cultural lexicon. Poison Ivy, Batman and Robin, 1997. Uma Thurman's Poison Ivy uses her seductive charm and venomous kiss to deadly effect. Her vibrant, green-themed costumes and lethal femininity make her a memorable Batman villain. Velma Kelly, Chicago, 2002. Catherine Zeta-Jones' Velma Kelly in Chicago is a quick-footed felon who captures the audience's attention with her show-stopping performances and complex moral ambiguity. O oh, Ren Ishii, Kill Bill. Lucy Liu's O oh, Ren Ishii stands out in Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill for her epic fight scenes and tragic backstory. Her poised yet deadly character is a highlight of the film. Catherine Tramail, Basic Instinct, 1992. Sharon Stone's seductive killer Catherine Tramail in Basic Instinct became iconic, especially due to the infamous interrogation scene. She's the epitome of a femme fatale. Dolores Umbridge, Harry Potter series. Imelda Staunton's Dolores Umbridge, with her saccharine pink outfits and ruthless methods, represents the worst of political power. Her character is a terrifying reminder of bureaucratic evil. Bellatrix Lestrange, Harry Potter series. Helena Bonham Carter's Bellatrix Lestrange is both deranged and clever. Her fierce loyalty to Voldemort and her cruel actions make her one of the most chilling villains in the series. Mystique, 
X-Men series. Played by both Rebecca Romaine and Jennifer Lawrence, Mystique is a shape-shifting supervillain with a tragic past. Her unique abilities and moral complexity make her a fascinating character. Bonnie Parker, Bonnie and Clyde, 1967. Faye Dunaway's stylish portrayal of the notorious bank robber in Bonnie and Clyde made the character both alluring and dangerous. Gila, Thor, Ragnarok, 2017. Kate Blanchett's Gila, Marvel's first on-screen female villain, brought a great backstory and an incredible morphing costume to the role, making her a standout in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Nurse Ratched, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, 1975 and Ratched. Louise Fletcher and Sarah Paulson's portrayals of the tyrannical Nurse Ratched are spine-chilling. Both brought a menacing calm to the character that left audiences unnerved. Maleficent, Maleficent, 2014. Angelina Jolie's portrayal of Maleficent gave depth to the evil queen from Sleeping Beauty, showing her as a complex and misunderstood character. Regina George, Mean Girls, 2004. Rachel McAdams' Regina George is the quintessential high school bully. Her manipulative and ruthless tactics in Mean Girls made her an iconic villain. Catwoman, Batman series. Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman in Batman Returns, 1992, is often cited as the best portrayal of the character. Her complex relationship with Batman and her seductive, yet altruistic nature make her a beloved anti-hero. Miranda Priestley, The Devil Wears Prada, 2006. Meryl Streep's icy portrayal of fashion magazine editor Miranda Priestley could cut a person open with just a softly spoken observation. She is the epitome of a powerful, ruthless woman in the fashion industry. Cruella de Vil, 101 Dalmatians and Cruella, 2021. Both Glenn Close's and Emma Stone's portrayals of Cruella de Vil are iconic. Glenn Close brought the character to life in 101 Dalmatians, while Emma Stone provided a fresh take on the fashionable villain in Cruella. Villanelle, Killing Eve. Jodie Comer's angel-faced assassin in Killing Eve commits heinous crimes with style and wit, making it hard for viewers to hate her despite her actions. Cersei Lannister, Game of Thrones. Lena Headey's Cersei Lannister is one of the most satisfying characters to hate on TV. Her ruthless pursuit of power and complex motivations made her a standout villain in Game of Thrones. Harley Quinn, Suicide Squad series. Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley Quinn brought the comic book favorite to life with her signature pigtails, red lips, and baseball bat. Her blend of charm, madness, and vulnerability makes her a fan favorite. Who is your favorite female villain from our list? Let us know in the comments. Do not forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Science Deli for more intriguing explorations of your favorite characters. Stay tuned for our next deep dive into the world of cinema and TV. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the best female villains in film and TV. Their complex stories and unforgettable performances remind us that villainy comes in many forms. Keep following Science Deli for more exciting content, and until next time, stay curious and keep watching.